Good evening, everyone. It is time for our monthly board of directors meeting for the Delta Amateur Radio Club. Welcome. Um, just to get kicked off, we'll just move right along pretty smartly. Uh, I think we've got some ra uh, good discussion tonight for a bunch of things going on. Um, let's move right into uh, Mr. Perry. Would you mind calling the roll for us? Absolutely. President Joe Plunk. Here. Vice President Tyler Henley. Secretary Perry Hayes present. Treasurer um, Jim just, Mark. I was just going to say, let's just have the record show that Tyler's out uh, serving our country. Absolutely. Treasurer okay. James Martin. James Martin is here. Director of Training, Joe Lowenthal. Here. Director of Programs, John Reiners. Present. Director of Meetings and Special Events, Scott Adams. Here. Director of Publications, Mike Harrison. Present. Repeater Trustee, Dan Fleek. Here. Public Information Officer Adam White. Immediate Past President Ty McMahon. All right, Mr. President, we do have a quorum. Thank you, Perry. Do appreciate that. Um, so I'll just open up. Um, I think we've got uh, a fun month plan for this month. Appreciate all, everything that everyone's uh, doing for the club. Um, I apologize for being just a little behind. I was out on vacation last week and I'm playing a little bit of catch up. So I apologize for being tardy. Um, I'm looking forward personally to the bus trip next weekend. Um, I know that'll be a, a big topic of conversation for this meeting. Um, then one of the other things that I will probably try to do is I want to send uh, a couple of some emails out to everyone. And, um, don't want to put anybody on the spot, so I'll send out some emails, but trying to get some understanding of what your thoughts are regarding next year. And I want to run some ideas or pie the individuals and then the collective. And I'll do this in some emails uh, for everybody about uh, kind of a, a different meeting for October. I like to do something a little different in October. I want to get some feedback on those ideas. Don't have all the details yet because I'm still kind of formulating how I want to do that. So look for some emails uh, on that shortly. So that's kind of my opening statement. Uh, appreciate that. Um, Perry, we'll move into minutes uh, uh, that you might have for us. All right. I did. Uh email today my minutes for the membership meeting in July uh, have not gotten any feedback good or bad on those and then our minutes of the uh, July board of directors meeting were published in sparks and approved by the membership so I would just ask if there would be a motion to accept my minutes as submitted by email and as published in last month's Sparks. Um, would entertain that motion. Does anyone want to make that motion? Are we needing a second or a motion? Well, um, we need someone to make the motion and second it. I make the motion. All right, so Mike is uh, is making the motion to approve the minutes as published in Sparks and Second. circulated by email, seconded also by Dan. Okay. And John was also seconding that if he needed a second. All right, all in favor of those approving the minutes as published and circulated by e and published in Sparks and circulated by email, please say aye. 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 I uh, all right. Thank you, Perry. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. 
Um, the next item that we have on our agenda is um, our membership renewals and new applications. You want to drop so your screen turn. so we can, the screen doesn't mean anything. Yeah, you're just showing a list of uh, files. I am not sharing the correct screen, so I do apologize. Let me stop sharing that and share the correct screen. <laughs> Is that better? Perfect. Yes, thank you. I apologize. More better. Next time, don't let it go so long. Let me know. <laughs> <laughs> I can occasionally click the wrong button. All right, membership, renewals, and new applications. And then we'll go right into the treasury report. Jim, you want to take us away or Perry? Who wants to do the membership renewals and applications? I'll be happy to do them. I feel like I'm cheating because uh, Jim prepared this chart here. Oh, These are the new and renewal membership applications that we receive for membership since the last board of directors meeting have some good a good number of new members which is fantastic and also several renewals and th these were all received at the last um general membership meeting i had received nothing in the uh in the po box this month okay sorry go ahead perry um so <laughs> No, I was just going to say, I'll, I'll cut the, I would entertain a motion for Perry to approve the members as presented for renewal and new membership, unless there's objections. Would entertain that motion. Second. All right. Uh, so the motion's been made to approve our new members as presented in, in the treasurer's report and in the agenda and to approve our renewals as presented as well. All in favor, and it was seconded by Joe. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Fantastic. Thank you, everyone. Um, I'll go to the next um, slide here for the treasurer's report. I did manage to squeak it into the agenda, Jim, so that we don't I, have to. I greatly appreciate that. Now, let's see, let's see if I can actually read it. Um, okay, so for the month of July, we started out the month with uh, 21800 and something. I can't read that real well. Um, in our checking account, we had a total of $529 in deposits. That includes $125 in membership dues. Uh, more in dues from uh, new members. It's kind of uh, kind of a turn of events there. Uh, and then we had three hundred ninety nine dollars in uh, bus fares received from members who are uh, attending the Huntsville Ham Fest bus trip. And then there you'll see the five dollars that um, that. I uh, deposited for our uh, ARRL commission that kept getting bumped back. That I mentioned last at last month's uh, meeting. So a total of five hundred twenty-nine dollars in deposits, and then uh, we had a total of six hundred thirty-eight dollars and twenty-five cents in checks. Uh, one of those was reimbursement for the renewal of the annual Zoom membership. Uh, one was our uh, two hundred dollar donation made to the seminary for allowing us to use their their fine facilities. And uh, then Joe had uh, reserved two tables for the Huntsville Ham Fest, and that comes with one admission. And so I reimbursed Joe uh, the $102 for that. And then Scott uh, was kind enough to uh, to get me my uh, Diet Dr. Pepper. So uh, he got $161.56 for snacks, bringing us to a total of $638.25. So that brought us to an ending balance of $21,725 and change. Um, any questions about the 
checking account or any of the um, expenses I did or have, deposits? I did have one question. Sure. Is check 1625 the check decline? No, 1625... You know what? I was I I, I it, it came to me earlier today as to what it was. Unfortunately, I'm I'm out of town. I'm I'm uh I'm in Virginia right now, and so I don't have the checkbook in front of me. Um, no give me a moment. Let's see what was that? Uh, oh, that was the uh, reimbursement to Neshoba for our portion of um, of field day. So that check okay. is not cleared. It was it was mailed, but. Uh, and I had had you sign, you know, put your second signature on that check at our last um, membership meeting, but it has not cleared the uh, the bank yet. Uh, sixteen check, twenty five probably is is Huntsville bus. No, sixteen. Tours. No, sixteen, 16 20... twenty two is probably the field day reimbursement. Uh no, sixteen twenty two was already cashed. That was um that was on last month's. Oh. Um, yeah, so 1621, uh, was deposited a little later than expected. 1623, 1624 is fine. 1625 was for Neshoba and 1627 was to Klein. Okay. So. Yep. Any other questions? We'll move into, um, the last page of your report, Jim. Okay. All right. All right, and this just shows the two uh, certificates of deposit, showing that we have um, $5,236.91 in the one that will uh, mature in January, and then $11,437.52 is our current balance in the one that will mature in November of this year. All right. Thank you, Jim. Uh, does the board have any questions? All right. Thank you, Jim. All right. All right. Also, I'd also like to mention that we are completely up to date on our uh, charitable um, status with the state. So that all that's uh, up to date and taken care of. Uh, I am still waiting to get word back from the state for our um, tax exempt status for sales tax. Um, that was mailed in along with um, with proof of our 503C status. And, um, okay. and I have not received anything from the state yet on that. I'm hoping that when I get back from vacation that, uh, that it'll be in the mail. Will we get that in the mail or will we be able to download that from their web portal? You know, I don't know. I, I, I mailed them the application because it was a, a PDF that had to be completed and mailed. And so I just assumed that I would receive something from them in the mail. You but, should be in the portal. I'm sorry. <clears throat> my, uh, um, sorry, my internet connection is bad. Um, oh. you should be able to download it from the web portal. Okay. All right, I'll I'll keep checking that then. I mean, I, I didn't I didn't see anything in the same it web be a PDF portal or where print it to a PDF. Yeah, I didn't see anything in there that uh, in the same portal as to where uh, I submitted the uh, you know the the yearly uh, annual report. Okay, so. I'm not sure if it's in that same portal or it might be a different part of the portal. Okay, but. Thank you for getting I'll, that taken care of and getting I'll that Google mail it. Okay. My pleasure. And then um, I need to entertain from someone a motion to approve our treasurer's report, please. I make a motion to approve the treasurer's report as presented. Um, do I have a second? I will second that. All right. So we have a motion to approve the treasurer's report from John and a second from Perry. Uh, all in favor of approving the treasurer's report, please say aye. 
Aye. Aye. Aye. All right. All right, Jim, do we have any um do we have any bills that we need to talk about? I have not received a single bill this month. Well, that is no. not a bad thing. Right. Now there will be some checks that um I will need to write for the Huntsville Hamfest um uh, mm -hmm. to provide to Joe for the trip. Unfortunately, I'm going to be unable to attend. I'm on call that weekend. Um, so I will, um, I'll bring the checkbook to our membership meeting and we'll have to, um, uh, write some checks and get, get multiple signatures or I'll just, all right. All right. I or I'll just hand you, hand you the checkbook. <laughs> Fair enough. I know that we had approved as a, in our budget, we had $3,000 budgeted for the Huntsville ham trip, Huns, Huntsville. Ham fest bus trip. Say that three times really, really quick. Yeah. Um, do you anticipate us exceeding that budget amount? I do not. Okay. But, um, That's good I will. News. I I would have to defer to Joe um, to see if there's anything that he's aware of that is outstanding. We have revenue above three thousand. That's fantastic news. I look forward to hearing a little bit more about that in a moment. All right. Um, anything else you got, Jim? No, sir. I am. I'm done. Going all on right. mute. Anybody have any? All right. Anybody have any other questions for Jim? Fantastic. Um, John, what do we got on deck for our August membership meeting? Uh, let's see. I have, um, Billy Freeman is going to do a presentation called Lessons Learned from a Disaster Responder, uh, where he's going to talk about, uh, some of his deployments and exploits and, uh, should be really interesting. He, uh, does a really good, good. job with that. And then, uh, Mr. Fleek has, uh, kindly offered to do a uh, presentation on our various repeaters and their coverage uh, in the area. So should also be very interesting and uh, not sure what you want to call it, uh, what you want to name it, Dan, but yeah, what it'll be about anyway. <laughs> uh, I'm looking maps forward to and such. <laughs> hey. It's alliteration, splat maps and such. Yep. Fantastic. Look forward to seeing that. Um, that's a good segue into uh, our repeater update. Um, yes, we have repeaters. So we, and I talked about this in the last meeting, we we took down the antennas for the 220 and the APRS at Methodist North. Uh, half of the APRS antenna was missing. So as you can see over my shoulder there, I got a new one. They aren't cheap. They've almost tripled in price since they were the last one was bought six years ago. Um, uh, the 220 antenna, when we took the parts down, we took everything carefully down so i uh reassembled the 220 antenna at my house and swept it and the swr was good so one thing i noticed on the manual was they advised to not seal up the connector when you screw it on and we had done that so it may have retained some moisture in the connector uh, so i did not buy a 220 antenna we may put a new uh, in connector on the end up on the roof and test it out when we go back up and with dummy loads and such so that we determine what's wrong and Joe and I were talking about doing that this weekend the the 8-2 scratch monster came back a couple of days 
and then disappeared. I'm, I may shoot Are we a couple still more. working on, are we still kind of trying to still work through isolating the, that uh, root cause still? Um, yeah, I am, I've only got one idea on that right now. I'm trying to see if I can take some more detailed pictures of the antennas. From a distance, um, if we get a bad night and I can drive over to the repeater site uh, after a net, we can check in. We can, I can take the controller out of the audio path and run straight repeater and see if just just to eliminate one piece. Um, okay. I, I don't know. I went out there the other day and it was just at high noon and burned my eyeballs out. I was trying to see if the elevator has, uh, been removed or not. Um, so I did get an email from Tim Morrow and he talked about the old days of the repeater being scratchy and he actually rode the elevator up to that platform got off on the platform and had the elevator sent back down and he reached over shook the cables and that generated static um i went out there the other day and the elevator counterweights all the way at the bottom about this far off of the stop so i Did, had not checked to see if we can move that or not. And I couldn't see, I couldn't tell whether there was an elevator at the top or not, or whether they've removed it. So I want to go back out there and check that, but that's another alternative to see if I can do something like Tim regenerate some mechanical noise. But I'm not going up to that Okay. platform. I can understand that. All right. Uh, a couple of quick questions for you. Then I guess, uh, well, anybody else can ask some questions too. Do you have the receipt for the new antenna? Do you, can you get that over to Jim and he can sh get you a, a check at the next membership meeting? So did you pay for that out of pocket? Yes, I put it on a credit card, so I got to pay here soon. I'll send Okay. you a note on it, Jim. Okay, good deal. And, and Jim, that would come out of the, we've got a, a repeater budget Yeah, light budget. item, I believe. We'll just draw, Yes, we do. we'll draw it right out of the budget. Yep. All right. Anybody else have any other questions for Dan? So again, that, that Um, antenna nope. was for the, the APRS. Yes. Is that correct? Okay. And the 220, you're going to try to swap or try to replace the connector on it and see if that resolves that issue. Yep. Okay. Good deal. Thanks, sir. All right. Thank you, Dan. Uh, Mary Jean's still working on the bylaws. Uh, we don't have a lot of takers right now uh, to join the bylaws committee. So I'll try to make another call for members to help her at the next membership meeting and see if we can get that committee jump started. She might have a little bit more ability to kind of work with that now that school's back in session. She can get back to a little more predictable schedule. Um, new topics. Jim, you already beat me to the punch on our tax exempt certificate. You're working on that one, so I appreciate that. Um, Mike dropped off because he was on vacation. Uh, so our Sparks deadline is this weekend. Let's try to get those in as early as we can. After I get done with the board meeting tonight, I want to try to write my stuff and get it over to Mike so I'm not the last one. Um, we're still probably going to work through some of the reformatting a little bit more and try to uh, uh, streamline Sparks and get uh, a little bit more, work with Mike on that a little bit. And appreciate everybody. If you You got something you like to contribute, would love to have everybody contribute just a little something. 
uh, a fun experience, something you enjoy about amateur radio, just something. Uh, if you toss it over to Mike, we'll get it in Sparks. I'm sure would appreciate it. All right, Huntsville Ham Fests. I know these numbers aren't correct, Joe, because I didn't have a chance to catch up with you before we got started. So uh, I'll uh, yield the floor to Joe and bring us up to date on the Huntsville Ham Fest and the bus trip, please. Well, the Huntsville Ham Fest is a go. We have, I think it's $3,174 uh, receipts. And uh, the bus is 2575 and and $100 tip for the driver and then i think it's 200 and something dollars on the ticket entry fee i've forgotten how much it is and then uh biscuits to where we've got it we've got it covered that's fantastic news joe how many total reservations and riders do we have right now no, i'm not sure uh i don't have it right here my computer is frozen. Uh, more than 20? Uh, about 20. I think 21. Okay. I'm not, yeah, I'm not sure. And we still have room for some more if we pick up some more. So that would be just a fantastic event if we picked up a few more. Thank it you for... Like, um, uh, it looks like everything is covered cost-wise. That's good news. Was there any uh, special donations or anything that came in, or has the revenue yeah, from Yeah, there was the... a very substantial anonymous donation. Um, how much? I'd rather remember? not say. I mean, we got to record it when we put it in the bank, so Okay. Um, well, thank you to our anonymous donor. We do appreciate that. Any questions on the bus trip? Anyone? That included the 200 from last year. That was a carryover. Okay. From the donation? Yeah, it was an an anonymous donation of 200 that got carried over from last year. Okay. Uh, any other questions, clarifications, observations from anyone? Um, what time uh, the bus meets at the, is going to be at GB Germantown Baptist Church at 6, and we leave at 6.30, Joe? The bus will leave at 6.30. Uh, it'll it'll okay. probably spot about 5.45 or 6 o'clock. It's scheduled to spot at 6 o'clock and, and depart at 6.30. Okay. And we leave Huntsville returning as soon as the final, the, the day, end of day drawing and yeah. enough time to get the, from there back to the bus. The bus is walking out the door. The bus is backed <laughs> up to the loading dock, which is right outside the door. Fantastic. That appeals to the All lazy right. in me. <laughs> And the two make, tables are for, right at the back door as well. Yeah, I did look. Uh, I don't know if anyone's had the ability, but I, the the event venue map, which is getting blurred, uh, is available. And I went through and found our table, and it is right by that back door. I think so, fantastic. 56 and 57, I believe, or 57 and 58. Um, I show them as 57 and 58, but that's yeah, what okay. I read off the online place. So I'm two good tables, it. good I'm spot. I'm just pulling that from memory. Fair enough. Are we taking any of our surplus uh, equipment down to put on the tables for sale? Yeah. I'm planning to try to get it together between now and then. Um, have you, do you need any 
uh, assistance with that, or have you got that under control? No, uh, it's it, it's a matter of inventorying it, getting in a spreadsheet. So when we do sell something, we can keep track of what we sell and 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 have an idea of, of you know what's sold. I understand. I was just. Scott, uh, can do I we need call to ask on you for help again? Scott. Scott. J You're muted. Yes, I'll be there. Okay, if you can help some, appreciate it. Anybody else wanting to help? Uh, more than happy to. All right. I think Scott will tell you it's pretty well set up. Uh, I work hard on the front end to make it easy. And that's what I was asking, Joe, if you needed anybody to assist you with that or wanted any assistance with that. Well, uh, at the show, yes. The... Oh, okay. yeah, if you need muscle, you needed... I'll be there. Okay. I know that's a lot of stuff to move around, so I just wanted to uh, see if you, how we could assist you so that you're not doing it all by yourself. Fortunately, it's it, the bus is close to the, to the tables. Yes, sir. About how many bins worth of stuff do you anticipate? Uh, four or five, probably is all that I can get in my car. And and I don't think we need to take any more than that. Uh, probably going to start throwing out some stuff that's just basically junk. We I had mean, stuff you, at, would you... at the club meeting some time ago and wanted to give it away and nobody took it. Uh, would it be advantageous if you had a couple of people to assist you to take more just to see if it would sell? Uh, Meet you at your home, throw them in the truck and take them to the bus? One last hurrah? Possibly so. Uh, okay. Let me, I, let me figure out what I've got to go. I think there's maybe... See, a lot of times we've we've divided it up to where the bins aren't as heavy, where you, we can get them in, the stuff in, in, in fewer bins, but it's very heavy, and I don't want to be lifting heavy stuff. So that's why we sure we divided out some, and that's why it's uncertain mm -hmm. right now. Sure. And I was just offering, I mean, we've got yeah. 160 members. We can certainly reach out to them and say, hey, if you're going to the yeah. Huntsville bus trip, instead of going to GBC first, Hey, let's meet over at Joe's house and throw three bins in. Well, your I'd truck rather have somebody know... pick it up on Thursday or Friday before and sure. uh, take it from there sure. rather than Saturday morning. Sure. Sure. But I, I this is just an example, Joe. But I'm the, the yeah. point that I'm trying to get to and make is just, you know, it, well, if we ask our membership, especially the ones that are going, I'm sure they'll offer to help. Yeah. We just need to have them, hey. Meet Joe Thursday or Friday night, pick up your two or three bins, bring them to the bus, throw them under the bus, and make sure they get to the tables. Easy. Yep. Okay. Um, I look forward to seeing the inventory sheets. I'm excited to see what's on the list. Look forward to seeing what? The inventory sheets to see oh, what's all okay. out there. Okay. So I'm sure we got... I'm sure we've got some good stuff. All right. Um, e is an artifact left over. Um, I didn't get the agenda cleaned up good enough. Um, I'll uh, couple say this one final time. Uh, anybody out there that might be interested in tours through the, the Google workspace, email addressing, distribution list all those other things just let me know and i'll be glad to set up some time to do that um john i do want to follow up with you on the the 
field day survey that we did from last month's signal report. Uh -huh. I will send you the results from that. Uh, there were quite a few people that said they would be interested in winter field day as well as field day next year. So I'll send you that uh, survey data. Um, I have not heard back from Google on like a Google voice number. Um, and then, um, Mike, I had a note that I was, he's not on the call, so I will circle back with him. Um, and the ham, uh, ham club online, um, all of our, except Dan, all of our other uh, people that we're going to work through and kind of test that are out of pocket for a little bit. Um, Perry said he was going to work on that too. So I'll, when they come back in town, uh, for August, I will circle up with our Ham Club Online team and get the evaluation for Ham Club Online going um, and start re re restarting that evaluation look. Any other topics or items that may have been missed? All right, we're quiet. Um, Perry, I think we're done. Uh, if you'll call the closing, uh, ask someone to join our club. If you'll call the closing roll, just to make sure we're good, uh, we'll, we'll move and entertain a motion to adjourn. All right, let me call a roll of the remaining uh, members here. Uh, President Joe Plunk. Here. Secretary Perry Hayes here. Director of Meetings and Special Events, Scott Adams. Here. Treasurer Jim Martin. Yes, I am still here. Director of Programs, John Reiners. Here. Repeater Trustee Dan Fleek. Here. Director of Training, Joe Lowenthal. Here. And I believe that's everybody, Mr. President. Thank you much. Appreciate that. Uh, I would entertain a motion for adjournment. I'll make a motion that we uh, wrap this thing up. Second. Motion made by Jim to adjourn, seconded by Dan. All in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Say aye. 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 45 minutes. Very happy, it's guys. Y'all have a wonderful it's evening. A record. See, <laughs> see y'all soon. Take care. All right. Take care. Thanks.